Hopefully the lighting is okay in here. Connecting. Hey, twin. How are you? Hopefully the lighting's not weird in here. Um, this, uh-oh. So I'm going to try to function this, um, <laughs> hey 12, I'm going to try to, um, function this as a video and not try to ramble too much. Um, is the volume okay? Oh, my hair. I, thank you. I used, um, I used my new, well, you saw me open it up. I used that, that new Remington today with that spray in um tresemme uh what do you call it uh heat protector so yeah i mean i think it did a really good job i mean it was only 23 dollars or something like that so i think it did a really good job okay so we're gonna try to get through this i'm gonna try to not ramble and babble as much because I know it's Sunday and I know that um, everybody has things to do than sit around and listen to reading and retail ramble. <laughs> uh, everything looks good and sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. So I made me a cup of coffee and yeah, it's the same cup. So I was just like, you know what? I, I don't care. <laughs> it is what it is. So, my goal today was Dollar Tree because I'm in need of more bags. Christmas slash daughter's 25th birthday. Still in need of more. I'm here for the rambling. I don't mind. <laughs> you know what, you guys? I think people are because do you know my live yesterday lasted for three hours? I was like, I am so sorry. I did not know I was talking for three hours. And there was two girls, that, two women that hung out with me in my live. And come to find out, they're both from Ohio like me. And we sit around and we um, shopped. And next thing I knew, it was three hours later. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. But um, this is going to be my Dollar Tree haul. So, I put everything in bags behind me because I have limited space in here and I just do the best I can with space. So, I'll just roll with it. Um, so, I have a little bit of everything. I have, well, I'll just tell you per bag. I'll tell you what it's about. So, this bag that I have in front of me is gift bags. Um, I love, this is a card. This is a birthday card for my daughter. Uh, I just loved, <laughs> I loved him. He's so sweet. And she likes, she likes puppies and kittens and animals. So, and you know what? This, I just realized, I don't know if it'll come across, but this is a Hallmark card. Wow. I got a Hallmark card for a dollar. Is there a price on this? This might maybe this may be made specifically for the Dollar Tree, but yeah, it is. It's a Hallmark card. Wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I've seen that. I've seen that. I finished running it while I. Oh well, thank you. So did you give a bunch of 
get a bunch of time because I ran for a few hours. I think I did. I wrote, see, this is why I have to do live because it will never function as a correct video. <laughs> I write it down. Yeah, it was a pretty big jump. It was a pretty big jump. So thank you if you if you had a hand in that. Thank you. Um, and I was just so upset when I got up this morning because every subscriber that I've got the last two days is gone. And I'm like, YouTube, why do you hate me so much? <laughs> what can you do now this bag I will admit I got for myself because this is my favorite colors silver blue glitter this and one of my favorite things for Christmas is snowflakes so this screamed mom so it will be let known that this is to be used for me. Whatever's in this bag is coming to me. <laughs> so don't make that mistake. So I got that one. And I thought this one was really pretty too. They're really doing it up with the glitter this year. So um, this is red on this side. And make sure it's in frame. And I thought this one was pretty too. So that's one what that looks like. I love the old fashioned Christmas and the snow and the, um, is the snowman down here? Oh, the snowman's down here, the snowman. I just thought that one was really pretty. Now I picked this up, um, this is a treat bag, um, but I'm gonna use I'm going to use um, for her birthday and for Christmas because, I mean, I think it's fine. It's gingerbread. Um, my daughter's sending me a message. I wonder if it's blocking. I noticed it did that yesterday. But I'm going to fill these with candy because my children expect candy. They know mom. They said, come Christmas, I'm going to have candy underneath that tree. It's just like a thing we do, so... I mean, it's fun. So I found another giant birthday bag. All, did I say all this was from Dollar Tree? I may have. Did I put it in my title? Live Dollar Tree haul. Okay. I'll be mixing up the days. So there's that one. I think they have some of just the most prettiest gift bags. You animal lovers, I loved this when I saw it. I love, love, love. I wouldn't mind having him under my tree. But my cat, when we had a cat, destroyed our tree. The bigger he got, the more he got up in the middle of that. Destroyed our tree. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's a fluke and it comes back. I love Hallmark. No, I think... If you're talking about the Hallmark cards, no, Hallmark is in there all the time. All the time. You don't ever have to worry about not getting Walmart, or Walmart, Hallmark and Dollar Tree. Oh, um, okay. I was expecting it to be Christmas bumps, but eh, whatever. But I thought this was really cute too for a bigger gift. This is a bigger bag. <laughs> I can't go way back here. <laughs> But this is a bigger bag, but I love that. I love the giant balls, bulbs, bulbs, B-U-L-B-S. Um, I love making candy bags. I use the mesh bags and the drawstring. They didn't have any mesh bag. Well, they may have, but I was in the party section and I didn't see any. Hi, Miss Mandy. I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. Half Christmas, half for my daughter's birthday. I'm going to get it together this year. I I sent my daughter a text message and I asked her, I said, for your birthday, 
will you come on YouTube? Because I want to do a live. And, and she's she's camera shy. She won't do it. She was like, no, I don't think I want to be on YouTube. I was like, that's okay. So I'll just take pictures and incorporate the pictures into my video. So we'll do it that way. Because I, I don't want to force her if she doesn't want to. Not everybody wants to be all in the camera. <laughs> uh, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Hope you're having a good day, Miss Mandy. <laughs> so I've got this little set, and I, um, like I said, I love snowflakes. So this is kind of like the opposite thing going on. You got the dark background with the light snowflakes and I am going to paint my nails sometime this year then you got the light background with the dark snowflakes and this is a two-pack this is a two-pack for a dollar so I thought that was a really good deal so like I said we do recycle This is, this one is actually a three pack. Is this all the same? Let me see. Now this is all the same, but that's okay. Because um, these little bitty gift bags, um, I think what I'm gonna do with these is probably, um, my husband's in there, probably put gift cards in them because they have uh, the gift box uh, the gift card boxes, but they're a dollar a piece. And I'm like, they don't care about the box. They're just going to open it up, take, take what out of it and probably going to throw it away or give it to mom because they know we don't throw bags away. So I, the whole reason I went to Dollar Tree is I purposely went looking for this item right here. So when I showed those I know I'm talking low, but he's in there. When I showed that cookware last night for my husband, I knew I needed something big to um, either get it into a gift bag or if I wanted to do some big time wrapping and I don't want to do any big time wrapping. So I saw these the last time that I went to the Dollar Tree and these are um, the giant gift bags they're 36 inches by 44 inches. When I say huge, these are huge. I'm going to show you the picture. So you get the, the bag, you get the tie, and you get a tag. And I thought this was perfect for him since I got them the wrapping paper with the trucks. Let's see how big that bag is. Now, I won't need all that space. So what I'll do is I'll just put the item down there, and then I'll just trim off the top. So I got this one. And then, which I thought it was super cute. I'm going to hold it up long enough for you guys to see the different trucks. And for a dollar to make my life easier, yes, ma'am. And then I love this one. This one looks like my coffee mug that I just bought. Exactly. I don't, do I have it in here? No, I don't have it in here. But it looks just like the coffee mug that I just hauled. And it's, it's the giant one. Um, I didn't need a, another giant one, but that other box is pretty big. So I'll just trim it and then tie it and it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to stick this to the side. Uh-oh. Stick to this, this to the side. And I am going to... I may do a silent wrap with me tonight because it's only 7.20. I may. I'm not going to hold myself accountable to that. But I may. I may not. Uh, let me look at this chat real quick. Uh, Busy Mama says, hi, Mandy. Night Owl says, um, hi, how are you? Busy Mama says, good here. Night Owl says, I'm good. Hey, Adrian. Happy Sunday. Uh, stop shopping, laugh out loud. You make me want to shop. <laughs> I have to because normally um, we do all this on Christmas Eve, but with the vid, it messed, or excuse me, I said that wrong. We do it on uh, Thanksgiving, but with the vid, it messed it up and we didn't get a chance to do anything. 
So I was like, I have to, or I'm going to be super, super behind. Hey, Snow Cone, thank you for joining me. Um, what's that say? In the bushes, but listening. I don't know what that means. Hey, OG Block 301 fam, blessings to you. Thank you. Went to the Dollar General. I need to make a Dollar General run in the worst way because I think my last Dollar General run was probably months ago. Um, 12 is saying hello to everybody. Snow Cone is saying hello to everybody. Okay, so everybody just pretty much say hi to everybody. But yeah, this is going to be simple, simple stuff tonight. Just my Dollar Tree haul. Um, now I did go to the Goodwill and I did some book shopping, but I'm not going to mix that with this. Okay. So let's stick this over here. Um, this is going to be more stuff for my daughter. This is going to be um, snacks and things like this. Now, for those of you that don't know, most of you already know, but I'll just go ahead and throw it out there real quick. For my daughter's birthday, she'll be 25. I'm doing a 25 milestone celebration. I'm going to get her 25 presents. Now, let me clarify. I'm going to get her 25 presents, but a lot of it's coming from the Dollar Tree. I'm not spending, like, big, big money. But I thought it would just be kind of fun to get 25 presents. And then yesterday's haul shows that some of the presents within the one present is going to be 25 items within that present. It could be candy. It could be socks. It's I'm just picking her up things that she likes. Simple things. Like, for instance, this is one of her favorite things. She will go to the Dollar Tree specifically for this giant thing of tea. So, just like this. This is one item. This is one dollar. Just stuff like this. Um, now I will get her, um, a few things that are expensive, but 25 of something adds up quickly. So no, it's not going to be big, big money spent. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me look at chat. Cause there's a paragraph with my name lit up. Oh, uh, thank you. Sir. Oh, it's proud. Hey, proud mix. How you doing? It says, Hey reading. Just want to say hello. Busy ATM. Oh, at the moment. Ha, I knew that. Look at there. Uh, but if you don't mind, there's a channel I refer you to. She collects Funko Pops. Stay safe and blessed. Oh, yeah. When it functions as a video, um, just comment down there. Or if you do you have her link, you can drop her link. Um, but, yeah, I'll check her out and tell her that you um, sent me. I have no problem with that. Uh, means I'm doing something but listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that snow cone. Hey, Proud Mix. Hey, Proud Mix. Proud Mix is... I've been with... Proud Mix has been with me, and I've been with Proud Mix almost since the beginning. Almost since the beginning. I mean, we've been um, connected for a long time, and whenever he's on, even if I'm at work, I will say, hey, I'm here at work. I got you on. I got you running. Yes. Okay, um, so another thing that my daughter loves, I'm not exactly sure how you say this. Um, Busy says, I'll be right back. Um, is Snow Cone in here? I don't remember. And Adrian's in here. Oh, I got a few mods. That's okay. Because the Trolls was out bad last night. But she loved, I got her two of these. So, yes, it's going to count as two presents. See what I'm saying? This is just something fun to do. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive. I've always taught my children it's the thought that counts. But she loves these. I love these. I'm tempted to eat one and go back and buy her another one. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to have to start throwing this stuff in a bag. And I'm going to use my kitchen table. That way I can start keeping track of how many I have. How many I have and how much more I need. But these are good. If you haven't tried these, you will love them. I haven't met one person who does not like them. Um, 
when they go on sale, my husband gets me... Did I bump something? Oh, no, that's that computer over there. My husband gets me the big ones when they go on sale, and oh, man, they're so good. Um, hey, Gray Men. Thank you for stopping in, Gray Men. Thank you so much. I try to pop in yours, too. This is not going to be a three-hour live tonight. I don't know where the time went last night, but um, it just got away from me. This is just going to be a um, Dollar Tree haul. Um, this is another one of her favorite candies. She likes these, so I got her a bag of those. So that's why I said I need to start counting up because I might be close to... Um, now this right here, this candy, she has loved gummy bears and it's so funny because when i was little i was crazy about gummy bears so she got that from me she's loved this since i can always remember her in my life she has always loved gummy bears so i got her a bag of those um what are these oh okay this has nothing to do with her stuff but since they're in my hand i got some more of these hooks um this is going to be incorporated in my DIY, my vanity mirror. I have an idea for these. I don't know if it'll work, but it's going to be a trial and error. But if it doesn't work, I use these to hold up my pot holders. I've got these in my bathrooms with my sponges on them, the squishy mesh things. These you could... Um, I think I've had necklace. Yeah, I've had put necklaces on these. So if it doesn't work for my intent use, there's many other things you can use these for. So that's what those are for. <laughs> ah, you guys are going to laugh at me. You're going to be like, why did you buy your daughter a brush? I don't know how it happens and when it started. I cannot remember that, but every year my daughter gets a new brush i don't know why i don't know when it started but every year she's uh, she's she searches she knows she's getting a brush and i know it's weird isn't it but i don't know it's just now it's gotten so far deep in that it's been went on year after year after year that now i just i continue to do it she knows she's getting it she knows she's getting a brush she knows she's getting candles. She knows she's getting socks. We do it every single year. It's just one of them weird things. You start it and you just roll with it. But I know she's looking. I know she'll be looking. Uh, Adrian's back. Um, this this is in the wrong bag because I have a beauty. I have a beauty and um, kind of like a. Uh, hygiene health beauty bag that we'll do okay so I I told you I said I'm gonna go to the other Dollar Tree the one that I said that's kind of in a better neighborhood and I said that their uh, Dollar Tree looks like a department store I went to that one today and I had a feeling that I was gonna find more socks you know what? My road to 25 pairs of socks may come true because I found two, four, two, four, six, eight. I found eight more pairs. How many did we find last night? Um, I don't remember. Well, anyway, but so these ones, which, which will be fine with her because she, yeah, come in, honey. Just don't knock over the thing. Well, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, I know that she'll like these because she likes plain and she likes polka dots, so that's fine. But I bought them for this. <laughs> these are so cute. This is toast and eggs. I've seen I've seen people haul these before, but I always was trying to find them in the Dollar Tree where I live, and we never have anything good here. I'm just like, man, I feel ripped off. <laughs> okay. So, the next pair 
I bought um, on the back. And I, I see the pattern here. The front you get a pattern. The back you get either plain striped polka dots. So this is the back. And then what I bought them for was, and I don't know what this is. I looked and looked and looked. I know he's in outer space, but I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. But I know he's in outer space because he's got the the shield on him. And he's within the stars. I don't know what this is. Anybody know? Is it a... Is it a seal? I don't know. I have no earthly... But it's cute, though. So it's like I'm getting it. So I got her those. She's going to have socks for days, y'all. And then... Oh, she probably won't wear these because she don't really like pink. But I'm hoping that she'll appreciate this side because it looks like sailboats. And she may not like them. But if it comes down to wear them or do laundry, I bet you she wears them. <laughs> uh, wear them or do laundry. I need socks. Astronaut Weasel. Oh, thank you, Gray Men. That's what that is. Takes a man. <laughs> nice. I think he's right. I think he's absolutely right. Okay. And then the last pair. If I would have found more, I would have got them. But these were the only four pair I could find. I got those. And there might be... If there's something weird on the screen, it's because I keep getting messages. And I'm sorry. But they'll go. it'll go away. It'll only stay up there for like five seconds. And then I thought these were cute. I think this is a jellyfish. I couldn't think of the name. Is that a jellyfish? I can't tell. I feel like it's a jellyfish because an octopus would have eyes, right? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing about no sea creature life. But I, yeah, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna say jellyfish. We're gonna go with that. Okay. So we got her those. And see, just from that, it's, there's 13 items. Yeah, it's gonna be easy to do 25. I thought it was gonna be hard. Jellyfish. That's what I think too. Jakey fish. <laughs> I know you mean jellyfish though. <laughs> Jakey fish. Um, okay, this bag is actually for me, and there's a reason why I'm showing you this, because when I went to, I hate saying my crappy Dollar Tree, and when I went to my Dollar Tree, um, they didn't have this, um, well, they always have my sippy cups, everybody knows my sippy cups. I say it over and over and over is because I'm accident prone. I have to have a cup with a lid. I don't know why. I spill everything. Sippy cups. But when I was in my Dollar Tree, they did not have these. So when I went to the fancier Dollar Tree, I went I went to search for these. And I obviously you can hear that I found them. So I bought three of each. Remember when I hauled these? And I said, they're, they're iced coffees. Remember when I haul when I um, haul these, and I said, yeah, no, don't don't be leaving me crappy comments. Talk about that. That's not gonna taste like a Starbucks. Come from the Dollar Tree. Blah 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 blah. I know it's it's the Dollar Tree iced coffee. I know it's not Starbucks. But let me tell you, for me to go haul them again, obviously they were good. So I this time I found Mocha. And caramel. The last time I couldn't find mocha. Last time I found um, caramel and I found the vanilla latte. But my favorite out of everything is mocha. And you guys, these are good. If it was bad, I would tell you if it was bad. Just like those coffee pods. 
I, I, I said it, with them, them coffee pods were horrible. It was like drinking twigs and leaves and sticks. Caramel, did I get that? I done forgot already. Yeah. But I, I hauled three of each. And, I mean, no, they're not as good as the Starbucks. I bought a Starbucks the other day in one of my hauls. I was down there drinking it. They're $2.50. Now, this isn't as big as the Starbucks. But it's a dollar. And it's, I mean, it's its really close. If you look at the ingredients. Oh, can I see it from here? Um, no, I'll have to wait till I drink it. But basically the first ingredient is brewed coffee. I can see that. Water. Oh, if I hold it like that. Um, skim milk, sugar, cream. I mean, it's just coffee. And I'm picky about my coffee. But for me to go spend six of my hard-earned dollars, it's going to be something that I'm going to drink, eat, use. So, yeah, i got six of those. And I like them. And as long as they keep bringing them into the Dollar Tree... I will keep buying them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jellyfish. Laugh out loud. Adrian says, I like those cups. Twin says, I like caramel. If you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, my joke to one busy mama is that she's my twin. So I call her twin. Twin says, the difference would be the coffee bean probably... And you know what? That's all it is, is the coffee bean. It may be a little less um, quality. Maybe the Starbucks is more high quality. But for me to drink it and not waste it, it's good. Okay, so the last bag for the men, there are some items in here I'm sure you don't want to see, but I'm just going to show them anyway. We're all grown adults here. You know, I'm sure you have sisters and brothers and aunts in your family. So, in a pinch, I do haul my daughter and I some of the feminine just to throw them down there. And, you know, sometimes if you're in a pinch, that's what you need to grab. That's what we do. Because sometimes you just, you're in a pinch. Okay, so got that out of the way. Um, I always, and I found some new items too. I always haul this for my husband and I because we love coconut. Um, this is the coconut shea butter, shea butter scented. Um, this is a body wash. Every time I go to Dollar Tree and it's there, I haul it. You will see this product you, this is kind of like my sippy cup. If it's there, I'm getting it. And this goes hand in hand with this. Because this one is the lavender and vanilla. Oh, I love lavender and vanilla. I love it, love it. And you know what? This has 24 ounces in it. How much does this have in it? This has 18. This has 18 ounces. This has 24. And for a dollar, and it's good. Because... If I haul, if I haul something like this and it's super watered down and it's not worth your money, I won't buy it. If it's not a thick, creamy consistency that's going to do the trick, it's, it's wasteful to spend your dollar. It really is if you think about it that way. So if it's not a good product, I'm not going to haul it. Um, let's see, the coffee bean, we already said that, laugh out loud, laugh out loud, it's bomb, I need to go, <laughs> sounds like it, it does, I love the, I don't know, I, these go hand in hand with me, every single, I, 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 um, stopped buying body wash at Walmart, I, we used to go and buy the real expensive um, it would be like four or five dollars for whatever brand it was because it was like coconut and vanilla and all this. And I'm just like, man, there's got to be an alternative. And if you can go buy five of these 
that lasts just as long, yes. Hey, Texas One. Girl, I haven't seen you. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Thank you for coming, Lauren. Texas One, y'all, says, hey, hey, hey. Love you in, in the chat, sweetheart. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hey, it's Clarice. How you doing? You look beautiful today. Oh, thank I tried out my new flat iron, and I think it did. Here, I'll just show you. I think it did its job. I've never used this before. I picked this up and tried it. I've never tried this before, um, but I wanted to try a heat protector, so I bought this. And then... I bought this and it's very inexpensive. I got it at Walmart. It's like $22, but it's the Remington flat iron and it goes up to $450. And I think it did a wonderful job. I mean, sometimes you don't have to pay $100 for something. I'm a firm believer if you can, if you can uh, spend your money wisely, hence Dollar Tree, I, I honestly feel like the Dollar Tree is spending your money wisely. Because if I can go get, I spent, I spent $50 in Dollar Tree today. But just think about it. If I would have went to Walmart, how many items would I really been able to get for that $50? Not 50 items. Well, it was 48, 48 items with the tax, or what is it? Well, you get what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't have nearly got that much in return for my money. So... My husband thinks it's cute. He's like, honey, you don't have to shop at the Dollar Tree. I'm like, well, it's 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 not a have to. It it's smart. If you can save your coin, save it. Um Texas one says, I still have never been to the dollar store. Well, didn't you say that there wasn't one where you live? I think that's what I I feel like that's what you told me. Uh, Laura says, definitely not as much stuff at all. Nope, not at all. Lauren says, Dollar Tree is awesome. I agree. Busy Mama says, making me want to do my hair, and I haven't. Oh, I like your hair, Texas. Uh, I got Texas on the brain. I love your hair, twin. Okay, um, oh, I bought some more Fix-All. This is the dupe for the E6000. This um, I needed for my DIY vanity that I hope is not going to bomb. We're going to find out together because I'm going to do a full complete video on it. I'm not going to do it live because it's going to be in steps. I have to glue things and I have to let it set over 24 hours and I have to paint things and I have to hammer things. So I can't do it live because this here when you use it. It has to dry for 24 hours. Um, there's no way around it. It's not instant. So that is going to be a video. Um, yeah, that's going to be a video. Um, let me see. Texas says, nope, there's one up the street. Just do all my shopping online. Yeah, that's true. But um, some of the items um, at the Dollar Tree... You can't get just one if you get it online. You have to buy in quantity. And there's some things I just need one of. Uh, I'm going to make it right now. I'm leaning a bit. I'm going to make it right now. Texas one use her artsy. No, I'm not artsy. Trust me, what I'm doing has nothing to do with arts. Ah. Lauren says, my oldest just went home with her dad. With her ad or her dad? Probably with her dad dad oh okay so i'm gonna make my coffee yes ma'am it's got lipstick all over it but yes ma'am combine my last two texts yeah 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 i got you girl i got you <laughs> i told my husband last night i said i met two people from my home state i'm like what do you think of that i said all the um people you can meet in the world uh, okay anywho When um, I got over to that Dollar Tree, I was happy because I found some new stuff. But I think this is, that's new. Oh, let me not bump the keyboard. And 
Okay, so with that, let me show you these because it kind of goes, I think it's the same. Is it the same? Uh, let me see. Is it this? Yes, it's this. Okay, so you've seen that I've been finding these face wipes. Um, this is a dollar. Is this Dollar Tree Bolero? Yeah, this is uh, made by Bolero. Um, Orange Blossom and Lavender is one that I've already hauled. I've already used up the coconut one. Well, tonight I found two new ones. So, of course, I'm going to get them. They're a dollar. And you get 32. So, I found this one. Um, lemon Water, rich in vitamin C for a bright, healthy glow. So, I got one of those. I think there was only one. I think that's why I only got one. I want to think there's only one. And then I found um, bamboo water. That sounds interesting to me. Bamboo water. Um, the anti-inflammatory properties of bamboo moisturizes and soothes skin. I've never used any product with bamboo in it though. So that's going to be very interesting to me. But um, I'm very OCD about my wipes. I use my opened ones first. I don't open more than one pack. And then, because I still I have one pack open. And then I just hauled in my one of my last two videos or something like that. I don't remember. I found these. So I've got to use these first. So we're going to stick those to the back of the drawer because once you open them, you need to use them. You don't want to, well, in my opinion, in my opinion, once you open them, you want to use them. I don't want to open up four or five different packs and then they dry out because then you've got tissue. I don't know. <laughs> you've got nothing. You've wasted your money. Um... Come by my okay said that said that california is your home state cool deep in the heart of texas yeah texas one um i know i'm late but what's the pink topped bottle in your hand this are you talking about this this is a uh, coconut and shea scented this is body wash and it is absolutely fantastic and i buy as much of it as when i can um, nice wipes. Those look refreshing. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, now, it's Clarice. Are you removing your messages or somebody else deleting your messages? What's going on there? Okay. So, these, I've never seen in our store. And I picked up two. Um, two different products, though. She did it. Oh, okay. You have a lot of stuff. I know. I spent $48. And you probably didn't even see the beginning of the haul. You watch the replay. <laughs> I'm preparing for um, a lot of this stuff I buy. Um, just as things that we need in the home. But a lot of this stuff is uh, Christmas bags and stuff for my daughter's birthday that's coming up. Um, okay, okay, I see Texas one, I see. Now, this I've never seen before, but I've grabbed this because, uh, you get 40 of them. This is Personal Care Antibacterial Wet Wipes and Refreshing Waterfall. I hate to say it, but finding Clorox wipes and wet wipes, it is becoming just an issue, it is really is so I picked up one of those they had a few they didn't have a sign up that says you can only get one but I'm not gonna be that person that buys all of them I'm not gonna do that and then this is made by Suave this has a uh, vitamin E skin pH balance is this oh you know what this one doesn't say antibacterial on it but you know what that's okay because you can still wipe off your hands so I got one of those and I was just like so excited to see wipes because I was like I, I can't get them 
Okay, so that's that. And this is just stuff for the home. I always buy a deodorant stick because even if I need it or not, eventually I'll use it. Um, power stick to me is almost like suave. So I just grab one because I'd rather grab one and have it and put it away for later use than to grab the deodorant that I'm using and it be freaking empty. And then you're like, great. That would suck. I'd be mad. Um, these last few items. Okay. So the ones that are watching me, I'm trying to see if I could see it real quick because I'm going to grab it. Um, I think it's right there. Let me get it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so those that are watching me, they know that one of my goal videos is I want to try to do a full face of makeup, skincare, everything to do my full face for the day with Dollar Tree items. Now, the last makeup haul I did, I hauled this. This is the Wet n Wild. I used this this morning. As a matter of fact, I tried this two days in a row. This ain't it. And there is a reason why I'm using this stuff before I come online to do it because I want to give this stuff a fair shot. And I don't want to get it on and be looking like a hot mess either. This is not it. This is... Okay, so the first time I tried to use it, it looked cakey. I looked textured. It looked like if you took a spatula and did like that, you'd pull off clay. I mean, it was bad. In my opinion, this was bad. So, what I decided to do this morning... Uh, Texas, I'm looking for you. Oh, Texas One, she just comes to support me. She doesn't have a channel. Clarice, I don't have a channel. Oh, okay. I'm behind. Can you tell I'm behind? <laughs> just stay tinted moisturizer. No, this is not even a tinted moisturizer. It's labeled as a foundation. So, what I tried to do was make it a tinted moisturizer. So, I took... My moisturizer that I use every day, which is from the Dollar Tree, but I use it every day. And mixed it to see maybe if I thin it out a little bit. Oh, there's just something about this formula that once it goes from this bottle to your skin, it is not good. I don't like it. There's nothing about it I like. So I was like, well... Maybe I'll use it under my eyeshadow. No, no go. This is going into the trash. So, when I went back to the Dollar Tree today, I said, uh, let's see, Texas says it's just a tin moisturizer. Oh, it's not. I think I already read that. Uh, Twin says, oh man, yeah, that's why I don't like foundation. Honestly, it makes me itch too. Twin says, well, thanks for being honest. Lauren says, Bethany, I used to not use foundation either. Then I found a thinner one and it works better. Yeah, because that is so, and I see, that's why I don't feel bad for paying a dollar because I'd rather pay a dollar for something and then not work than to pay $10, $15 for a foundation and it would be horrible. So I found this. Um, this is sash, Sassy and Chic. Um, beauty benefit cream in medium. I'm going to try this. Um, hmm, I've got to work. I'll probably try this maybe either one night after I take off my makeup and play around. Oh, I'm not going to try this and try to do my makeup for work. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm using my holy grail to go to work. But I'm going to try this and see how this works. Because there was something that I used to use in the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And it came in a tube like this. And I bought it. And I repurchased it over and over and over and over. Because it worked. I don't remember if it was this though. So I'm going to do that. 
Thanks for the review. Good to know. I like BB or CC cream. I think that this is, oh, this is a BB cream. I was about to say, I think this is a BB cream. It says right there, BB cream. So I'm going to try this and see what happens. Um, now, to be fair, I do not have a bronzer from the Dollar Tree. So what I did was I picked up a pressed powder and like three shades too dark. So I'm going to use this as my bronzer. Um, I have, I think I'm in the wrong stream. It's all about makeup. I never wear makeup. Yeah, Grayman, the last, the last bag of my Dollar Tree haul is all makeup and hygiene and body wash and stuff like that. That's, <laughs> That's so funny. But don't say men don't wear makeup because men do. I can beg to, I can prove you wrong on that. There's lots of men that wear makeup. <laughs> but just not you. You don't roll that way. The gray men. Not always just for a few minutes. Um ha, 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 no, never. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So in all fairness, um, to keep it fair, because like I said, the only thing that I'm gonna have to cheat on is mascara. And I looked today in that store for mascara, and I found two mascaras. One looked like it might work, and I got super excited. I was like, oh, this is big, bold lashes, volumizing, this and that. And I was like, that'll work. I could... And then I looked at it, and it was purple. I was like, purple? This is purple. I said, okay, never mind. So that didn't work. So I will have to cheat on that. Um... Lauren says, I use the Fit Me from Maybelline now. Yes. Are, are we talking about... Are we talking about foundation? Uh, oh, some men do. I always say bye, bye, bye. I see you all the time. Have fun. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So I'm going to substitute this for my bronzer. So I was happy to find that. Um, now I have a few and I want to try to make it fair I have a few eyeshadows that I did purchase at the Dollar Tree but it's like the hard candy brand and the wet and wild brand I didn't think that was fair because that's not a Dollar Tree brand now LA Colors is one of those dollar brands so I've used this before um this is a loose pigment in radiant I know some people don't like loose pigments, but this here is beautiful. I've had this before. Um, I can't remember if I used it all up or if the container cracked. Something happened to it, so I had to dispose of it. But I gravitated toward this one because I've used this before, and this is beautiful. And it's LA Colors, and it's $1. So I thought that would be fair in the eye look. And then I bought this because I um, like a bat in my crease. So I picked up this palette. So I thought this would be fair. So I think now I have moisturizer. Hopefully this works. Blush bronzer. So the only thing that will not be $1 is going to be the mascara. And I tried and tried and tried to find them. I can't find anything. But uh, I can't comp I can't compromise with my mascara. Oh, and all my lip stuff, um, everything is from the Dollar Tree. Everything. So, er I mean, I even have setting spray from the Dollar Tree. So the only thing that's not going to be Dollar Tree one dollar retail is going to be the mascara. So yeah, guys, that is my haul. Um. I'm really super excited about finding these. I think um, because I think probably what I will do with these is probably throw one in my work bag and maybe keep one in my car. Um, let me see. Busy Mama says ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer is wonderful if I have to put something on. Yeah. Well... I, I feel self-conscious without some kind of face makeup. I just, I do. Now, what you could do, um, you could, 
spread the fit me out because it's a tiny bit thicker but not too much i like it i like fit me i you uh laura the fit me speaking of fit me the only powder i use is this right here in the square it's the only one i use when it comes to an end i go buy another one when that one gets to the end i go buy another one it's the only one i use i'm addicted to that um there's i don't know there's something about that where it doesn't matter if you use a little it doesn't matter if you use a lot your face does not look cakey it does not look dry it doesn't you know how some of the powders you can just look at someone's face and tell they have powder on and it like sticks to dry it does not do that you look smooth i just it's wonderful i love it it's my favorite now one thing that i do want to try i want to try that elf finishing powder that halo glow i want to try that but i have to go to target to get it um la colors is a good brand yeah when um i first started out and i couldn't afford makeup that's all i used my whole collection was la colors you can find kind of like this what i said before like this pigment right here this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful a lot of people they're like well i don't like the brush well don't use the brush don't you i mean <sighs> You can sit here and complain about the brush when the pigment is great. It's not clumpy. All I do is I take the brush out of there. And you'll see when I use it. I take the brush out of there. I leave it in there. Put the cat back on. But when I'm using it, I take it out of there. I take this and I tap it off there. And then I just put my brush in there. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, you know, don't complain about the brush. Don't use the brush. Nobody uses these brushes anyway. But this, I mean, it's great. Uh, oh, yes, love that powder. Nah, nah, nah. And as a matter of fact, that uh, Wet n Wild that I hauled the other night, um, was it last night? Uh, no, I did Walmart last night. The night before. Um, I love it. And I don't know why they discontinued it because it's beautiful. Oh, hey, busy mama. I used one of these yesterday. I used one of these yesterday. This is also uh, a Dollar Tree brand. It's sassy and chic. I I don't understand this. I've been buying these wedges for years and years and years. The material is different for some reason. For some reason, they are so hard now. And I don't know why. So I wet the sponge and it almost feels like they're hard as a rock. And I'm like, this is not how it's always been. So I don't know if they've added more. Is this latex based maybe? Um, I mean, it could be. So now I just use it to like put primer and things on my eyes. But I went back to my favorite brush because... They changed it, and I, I don't know. I mean, they're just so difficult to work with now. So I'm like, whatever. You are so funny. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm silly. I can't help it. But it makes the lot go by a lot easier um, than being bored on someone. I don't want to be bored on someone's live, so I'm kind of like, I don't want to bore anybody on my live. But, yeah, um... That is, yeah, that completes my haul. So I think probably what I'm going to do, um, it's only 8 o'clock. I might piece some of this stuff together. I don't know yet <laughs> because I've got to separate all this. Oh, Lord. I might do a silent live. I don't know. I think there's too many trolls out on a Sunday. I may not do that. People come in and try to get me. Oh, okay. So you know what, Ellie? If you like Ellie Colors... Um, I'm going to haul, there's some more stuff from LA Colors. Um, they have a whole upbeat line. Okay. So this is, this is the, 
th this is how I'm going to explain it. This is their dollar line. Now, they have another line that's a little bit more upscale. And the items are four, three, four, and five dollars for like their foundation. It was like a whole line that dropped. I don't know if it was last year or the year before because with this vid, all my days are running together. But they're highlighters and they have a mineral powder. I use that for, I don't even know why I stopped using it to tell you the truth because that'd run out and I'd run right over to the Dollar General and buy another one. But I'll do a haul. Yes, slash. Okay, so you know exactly what I'm thinking about. That is that one highlighter that's a pink based. Oh, you couldn't tell me nothing. I wore that every single day. And when I would go in to try to get the foundation, they never had my color. And I was so sad because that mineral powder and those highlighters, and then they have the little blushes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Some people just really need to um, try. You never know until you try. But, whoop, there went that. I ain't picking it up. But there went that. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to try to do is try to clean all this up. Let me make a thumbnail uh, with some of this stuff. So the thumbnail is not boring and I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Now I went, did I bring the bag in here? I went to, it might be, oh, over here. I went to the Goodwill today and I did some book shopping and I think I did pretty well. So that'll be, this will probably have to be a live because y'all know me how I am when I start talking about a book and giving my opinion and giving my assumptions. It'll go way over the allotted time. <laughs> Elf is one of my faves. Yes, that was another brand that when I first started getting heavily into makeup, um... Even before, I mean, I really even couldn't afford BoxyCharm. What I would do is I would wait for e.l.f. to do their 50% off sale. And then I'd go get everything that I wanted from them. Now, see, e.l.f., let me tell you about e.l.f. They made me mad because I told you all I can ramble now. Put me on a subject and it's over. <laughs> e.l.f. used to do a powder foundation and... That was my life. That was the only found. I didn't use liquid. I didn't use any other pound powder foundation. I would buy two at a time to make sure I had a backup. When they discontinued that, I was absolutely heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. So then I went over to the NYX uh, powder foundation. But they started changing the colors. And so... The color that I had in that powder foundation, they started changing it and changing its tones. And I have a strain. Once I find something that, that suits me, it has to be that one. So then I couldn't do that anymore. So then I found um, the Neutrogena. It's a powder foundation. Not the skin clearing one. The other one. I found that. And I was using that for a couple years. And then... Wet n Wild came out with the Photo Focus. Um, when they first dropped this, I only used this. And it was in the same color, but it wasn't the dewy. Then they changed it up, and then they did one matte, and then they did a dewy. But even though they, they the finishes were different, they kept the formula the same. So... The soft beige matches me perfect. I can get it in the matte or I can get it in the dewy and it's perfect. So this is my holy grail. This is what I use when I'm out of it. I go and I buy another one. If they ever discontinue this, I don't know what I'm going to do because I've been using this since it came out. I don't remember when it came out, when it dropped, but yeah, drugstore makeup changes a lot. Yeah, and it drives us nuts because... If you can, if you get something that you like and it sells, 
don't discontinue it. Why, why, why discontinue something that you constantly have to restock in your store? I, I don't understand it when they discontinue stuff like that. They did that on something else that I liked. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. And I was like, no, they stopped making it. No, ah, terrible. Anyway, that's my, that's my stop discontinuing stuff that we like rant. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I use. This and the Fit Me Powder. If they ever discontinue these two, I might have to learn how to be barefaced. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. Because you know, like when you go into the department stores and they match you. Okay, fine. But my rant on that, they're matching you to their lighting. So guess what happens when you get home under your lighting? It's off. It don't look right. It looks horrible. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate everybody for coming and stopping by and showing my channel love. Um, I'm hoping that everybody is still subscribed to me because I gained 10 today. I lose 10 tomorrow. I gained 20 today. I lost 20 this morning. I'm like, you know... I don't know what's going on. Y'all are never happy, so it is what it is. All right, guys, but I'm going to go and put all this stuff away. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, you lost 17 today. Girl, are you kidding me? You lost 17? I was at... 8.83 last night and then I woke up this morning and it was 8.70 something I was like y'all killing me man I don't know what happened I don't know I don't know I mean I, I get the whole they're getting rid of the inactive people I mean I get that but can you just do like one mass sweep I mean, just do one mess. With, you just keep doing it to us every day. I mean, I'm like, let me get another screen here. I'm just curious to even see what I am right now. Because I had so many missing when I woke up this morning. I'm like, this is absolutely just this, this. I mean, I'm still working on my watch time, which is fine. But... When they keep taking our subs from us, by the time we finally reach our watch time, it's not going to do us any good. What happened? What happened? Okay, there it is. <sighs> I don't even know if I want to look. I have no idea if I want to look. But I'm going to look anyway. I don't know what happened. My daughter says it's a glitch. Well, dang. Can you fix the glitch and give them back? You know what? If I would have had... If I would still have everything that they would... Everything that they took from me, I'd be well over a thousand. I'd be well over a thousand. No problem. My lip color's still on through all that coffee. I wonder what I put on. <laughs> it's still on. Mm, let me see. 8.79. I was above 8, 8, 8.80 something yesterday. Uh, whatever. I mean, ain't nothing I can do about it. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, I will probably put out a shorty tomorrow if I know what I'm going to do. Um, in all honesty, it may be a wrap with me because that would be the smart thing to do because I've got to do something. If I do that, um, that will probably be in my... Well, I was going to say it might be in my kitchen. 
or it might be down there on the floor. Either way, I probably, um, but I, I won't be able to, hey, Janelle, um, I won't be able to uh, watch the chat because it'll be like a silent thing. Oh, hey, Janelle, I'm sorry you missed it. I'm getting ready to log off now. I um, did a uh, Dollar Tree haul and we did a, make a makeup rent <laughs> and that kind of thing. Um, um, I know that mostly my lives, they don't post till tomorrow. So, all right, guys, I love you and I'll see you in my next video.